Hey guys, Mr. Schwanekamp here, just showing you how to graph uh, on this problem in particular. We're going to do this a couple times here to finish the uh, semester. This is really important. Um, you can't pass uh, this chapter without being really good to be able to graph. And so I need to see that. I've tried many ways of doing this. I feel like this is the best way. So here's what you're going to do. Um, you're going to click this link right here. Sometimes the link doesn't work. I don't know why. It just doesn't. So if it doesn't work, right click it copy link address, and then paste it into your browser, and that will work. But it works. It's going to say make a copy. Click make a copy. And then once it loads, it'll, it'll load. Here we go. All right. So once it loads for us, um, we're going to do multiple questions. This first slide is just explaining how to, sh how to share when we get done. But up here on the top, there is kind of the navigation. I'm going to hit the number two button here. It'll take me to slide number two. So we are trying to graph this thing. Negative X minus one squared plus three. If you're watching this problem, if you care enough to watch the video, then I will show you how to do the problem. All right. So I've tried this a little bit. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more just so I can see it. Um, this is going to be a parabola. The minus one is going to take me to the right one. The plus three is going to take me up three. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select a pen. I like pretty colors, so I'm going to pick red. So I'm right one, up three. There is my starting dot. All right, it is a parabola, so my pattern is one, three, five. Um, it is negative, so it's going to go down. So I'm going to go down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, two, three, over one. Ah! Don't use that. I'm going to pick back on the select key instead of the pen key. That's always annoying, but that's true anywhere. Um, but then I'm going to keep graphing down one, two, three over one, and that's enough dots. So let's just connect the dots and make my parabola. So then I'm going to zoom out a little bit again. It's not perfect. I know it's not perfect, but there's nothing perfect, uh, about graphing online, but we're doing the best we can. So I'm going to graph my parabola down like that, down like that. Boom. I got full credit. I did it correctly. I showed my graph. Then I'm going to hit the next button. And then on the next button, I've got another graph. I'm going to do the same. And then the next one. And then the next one. And then the next one. Uh, you need to do all of them. Uh, this is obviously an important aspect. If I'm making you graph it, this is a lot different than everything else we've done so far. But I think it's really uh, important that we do this correctly. Once you've done this and you're done. So I go to slide seven here. And it's all of this is, again, a share in it. So we're going to click up here into the share button. We click the share button. Once you click the share button, you're going to click down here to where it says change link. Okay, we're going to do the get link. We're going to click that change link. It might look a little bit different for you, but we're going to click change link. And we're going to change the person to anyone with the link. Anyone with the link. So boom, that. Now it says anyone on the internet can link, can view. And all you have to do then is share the link. So you're going to hit copy link. And then once I've copied the link, I'm going to go back to my original place. And right here in my answer, all you got to do is right click and click paste. Control V. Oh, it says press Control V. Boom, Control V. There is my button. And then I can do the rest of the questions. But that is how you share. You got to share it correctly or otherwise I can't see it. I think it's the best way for us to do it. And I'm, I try to make it as easy as possible that you only have to do it one time instead of having to go back and forth. Um, You'll do that here and then on the test as well. And I think maybe once or twice the rest of the semester. But I hope that makes sense to you. It's a little bit strange, but that is what you're trying to do. All right. I hope that works. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, guys.